Hello everyone, welcome back to Dr. Coder's Medical Coding Classes. So today I am doing again an ICD video. It is chapter 2 Neoplasm. You all know chapter 2 is a vast chapter so I am doing it part wise. Before moving on to this chapter guideline, let me tell you if you didn't watch our previous video that is how to pick codes from table of neoplasm means first you have to watch that video and then come to this neoplasm video because in this neoplasm chapter our codes are mainly picked from table of neoplasm only. Okay, from in the alphabetic index, uh, from table of neoplasm, most of the codes are um, searched in this chapter, neoplasm. Okay, so you have to make it very clear how to pick code from table of neoplasm. Okay, so in the table of neoplasm, you can see many headings like malignant primary, malignant secondary, benign, carcinoma in situ, uncertain behavior and unspecified behavior. In that video, I just mentioned the names only. Right, I said like I will explain it in next video. So here I am explaining it. Uh, what all are the meaning of those terms? Okay. So, what is neoplasm? Neoplasm means it is an abnormal mass of tissue. Okay, in the common terms, it means the cancerous condition. That is the neoplasm. So, this neoplasm is mainly of two types. That is benign and malignant. Okay, so how it is divided into benign and malignant? It is divided on the basis of the property of metastasis. So, what is this metastatic property? Metastatic property or metastasis means it will spread from its origin to another location that is the property of metastasis okay so based on the property of metastasis it is divided into benign and malignant here in benign it do not show the metastatic property which means it will not spread from one place to another okay it will be confined to its origin itself Whereas the malignant neoplasm will spread from its origin to another location. Okay, so the malignant neoplasm will be in two sites. It will have a primary site and a secondary site. What is the primary site? The primary site is the site where the neoplasm origin and the secondary site, it is otherwise called as metastatic site, it is the site to where the neoplasm spreads to. Next one is CA in situ or carcinoma in situ. If our code is code to be picked as CA in situ means it will be clearly mentioned in the documentation as CA in situ itself. Okay, now what does it mean CA in situ? It is commonly known as stage 0 of cancer. Okay, it is not actually a cancer but it can be a cancerous tissue in the future. Okay, that is carcinoma in situ means. Next one is uncertain behavior and unspecified behavior. Uncertain behavior means that the behavior, the neoplastic behavior cannot be determined properly means it is called as uncertain behavior and unspecified behavior means uh, it is not mentioned as whether benign or malignant or CA in situ then we, we can take unspecified behavior. Okay, now let's move on to the guidelines. Coding and sequencing of complication. Now I will explain the first and second uh, guidelines together. That is treatment of primary malignancy and treatment of secondary malignancy. Here it is the case of a malignant neoplasm. So as I already mentioned in malignant neoplasm, there will be a origin site and also there will be a metastatic site. Okay, there will be an origin and uh, there will be a secondary site to where the a neoplasm spread. In that case, what is the sequencing of coding? That is this rule. So, we have to uh, understand for uh, the patient comes for treatment of what malignancy. If the patient comes for treatment of primary malignancy, that is the origin means you have to code first that primary location, the primary uh, site and the second code will be the secondary or metastatic site. Okay, similarly, if the patient comes for the treatment of secondary malignancy means you have to code first the secondary site or the metastatic site and then the second code should be the primary site or the origin. For example, if the patient is having a malignant neoplasm of right breast and it spreads to right lung, 
Okay, here the primary site is right breast and the metastatic site or secondary site is the right lung. Right. Now, the patient comes for the treatment of right lung means you have to coat the right lung first and the second coat should be the right breast. Okay. Another case, if the patient comes for the treatment of right breast means you have to coat the right breast first and the the right lung coat should be the second. So, whatever is the reason of encounter. Okay, that should be the first code and the another malignancy should be the second code. Next one is malignant neoplasm in pregnant patient. In pregnant case, in all pregnant case, you know that the pregnancy code is always having sequencing priority over all other codes, right? The pregnant uh, condition you will have a O code. Similar is the condition here also. Okay, uh, in previous videos and all you can see in a HIV case, in case of diabetes and all, uh, we have already seen like right. The, the, there will be a O code in the first, and then there will be a corresponding that chapter code. Similar is the condition in pregnant patient and malignant neoplasm also. The first code will be O9A.1 pregnancy complicated by neoplasm and the second code will be the corresponding neoplasm code. Next one is complication associated with neoplasm. Treatment is only for complication. What is complication? That is the neoplasm, the patient with neoplasm will be having uh, many conditions due to neoplasm. R uh, right, like anemia, dehydration, weight loss, etc. So, these conditions are called the complications of neoplasm because that arise due to neoplasm. Okay, so a neoplasm, neoplastic patient who is having some complication due to neoplasm, they currently come to the hospital for the treatment of this particular complication means you will have a sequencing. Okay, whether to code the complication or to code the neoplasm first. Okay, so here the first guideline is except anemia. Here the guideline is for anemia it is one and for any complication other than anemia it is the other one. Okay, so if the complication is anything other than anemia, for example, if the complication is dehydration, means first you have to code for that particular complication. If it is dehydration, means code for dehydration. If it is weight loss, means code for weight loss. If it is malnutrition, means code for malnutrition. First, okay, then the second code should be the corresponding neoplasm code. Next guideline is anemia associated with the neoplasm. Treatment is only for anemia. In previous case, we said there is an exception for anemia, right? That exception is discussed in this guideline. Okay, neoplastic patient is having anemia due to neoplasm and the patient now comes for the treatment of anemia means first you have to code for neoplasm and second you have to code D63.0 that is anemia in neoplastic disease. Next one is complication from surgical procedure for treatment of neoplasm. That is, uh, we know that the treatment for neoplasm includes chemo, radiation and surgery. Right. So, the patient had surgery due to neoplasm and the patient currently have some complication due to that surgical procedure and comes for the treatment of that complication. Okay. Then the first code should be that particular complication. If it is hemorrhage means hemorrhage um, or if it is infection means infection. Okay, whatever be the complication, code first for that complication code. And the second code should be if the patient is still having neoplasm means you can code for neoplasm. And if the or if the neoplasm is cured and uh, the patient is no longer having any active treatment means you can give the personal history of malignancy Z code. Okay, then the last two guidelines. Pathological fracture due to neoplasm. Focus of treatment is neoplasm. Now, these two guidelines I will be exp explaining in combined. Okay, so here the case is the patient is having neoplasm and the patient is having pathological fracture due to neoplasm. For example, if the patient is having some bone malignancy, means there is increased strength, there may be increased tendency of breaking of bone. That is called pathological fracture due to neoplasm. Okay, in this case, uh, what we have to quote first, whether the quote for neoplasm or the quote for pathological fracture, what we, we have to quote first, that is decided 
what is the focus of treatment okay if the focus of treatment is neoplasm means you have to code for the neoplasm first and then secondly the pathological fracture code m84.5 okay if the condition is opposite that is the current treatment is for pathological fracture due to neoplasm uh, then your first code should be the pathological fracture code m84.5 and your second code should be neoplasm code okay so these are the most important eight guidelines of uh, chapter 2 neoplasm the chapter is not over we have um, some more guidelines i'll uh, discuss in it in part 2 if needed i'll do it in part 3 also uh, so be thorough with this guidelines these are the most important major one okay so if you didn't subscribe my channel means please subscribe and share with your friends uh, thank you